Welcome back to yes another video. Uh, so really quickly before we jump into the main topic of the video, I forgot in the last video to make all of these final. And this one as well. And also to create a constructor. But that's super easy to do thanks to the magic of uh, nice IDs these days. In the olden days, this would have been such a headache to do. But luckily, it's not like that now. Whoops. Okay, there we go. I'm running into the same problem as usual. Uh, because these days I code on a Mac, it's always a little bit awkward when I switch back to... Uh, back to... My Linux system because all the key bindings are different. Okay, that's all fine. So now that we've done that, uh, we have our models, we have our local data interface, our remote data interface, and now we're going to make our getx, um, getx controller. We're going to make this part. And you might be thinking, you might be saying to yourself, hold on just a second, videos. What do you mean we're going to make our getx controller? How are we going to do that when we don't have? our date, local data store or remote data store, how can we make this getx controller work correctly? Well, to be fully honest, it's not going to be fully functional. However, what we can do is actually write this logic using the interfaces that we wrote previously. So I'm going to write, um, first let's import package get, get dot dot. I'm going to say class um, I don't know what to call it. I'm going to have a single uh, yeah, I'm going to have a single state class. Yes, I'm just going to call it state extends getx controller. Right like that. I feel really weird calling it state, but that's fine. And this state is going to need access to the local data interface and our remote data interface. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pass in that information in the constructor for now. Uh, in later videos, we're going to look at something called dependency injection, but that's not for this video. So I'm going to say final local data interface underscore local data interface and final remote data interface underscore remote data interface create constructor and i'm gonna pass them in i cannot pass them in like this because of the underscore and because i'm gonna use dependency injection actually doesn't matter but for now i guess i'll leave it like that okay and let's think of what I want in this getx controller. So I'm going to want to have a um, first I'm going to want to have the title that we're searching. So that's going to be an rx string title. And we're going to start with an empty string. And I don't know if you guys remember from when we spoke about getx, but when using getx, instead of using regular strings, regular balls, we use rx strings, rx balls, and we put this dot .ops at the end. That's what makes this an observable. That's what makes us able to listen to these values. Okay, so this title is going to be whatever we are searching for, and we might decide to do this differently in the future. But for now, we'll do this, and then. We're going to have a, let's see, I'm going to put this on the side for now. We're going to have a list of search results, search results. And I'm going to set this equal to search results and just have an empty list.obs, 
which means I'm going to have to put Rx list here. And then I'm also going to have uh, movie details. Um, movie details. Movie details equals. This one's a bit harder. Movie details dot obs and that's going to give me an error i'm thinking how to do this rx move disk comes yeah wrap this close rx like that okay i could have also done that for this for example rx you know does something like this i don't really know what the difference is i don't know if they're exactly the same thing i feel like this is probably more efficient. In fact, if I look at this, if it extends our implementation string, then it probably isn't. Um, but yeah, I just have a habit of doing it like this instead. Okay, so this is the data we're holding. And then we're going to have our the same functions as over here. So I'm going to have void. I'm not going to return anything. Search movie. And it's going to take my string title and my int page equals, I don't know if it's zero or one that we start on. Let's see. If we search for page equals zero, we're going to get a response equals false. So let's search for page equals one and there we go. So what I'm going to do is say int page equals one. So what this is going to do is say, if I don't provide the page, then we're going to set it equal to one. And now what I'm going to do is say, um, list search results, results, results equals underscore local data interface dot search movie and i'm just going to pass in exactly like this title page right i don't need to change these two because it's getting the data exactly from here and at this point we need to decide when we actually make this search movie if it doesn't find anything what should it return and i'm going to decide now that if we don't find anything then search movie is going to return null. So at this point, my result will either have a value or it's going to be null. So then I'm going to say if result equals equals null, and I don't have a linter because that should have told me not to do it this way. What it should have told me to do is say result question mark question mark equals. And now I'm going to say remote data interface dot search movie like that and if you guys don't remember question mark question mark equals is a shorthand way of saying if result equals equals null then do whatever okay so what is it saying well saying get me the results from the local data interface dot search movie if you don't have that value then get that value from remote data interface instead. And then once I have that, I'm going to say search results dot value. I'm not sure why it doesn't want me to do that. I think if I remember correctly, it doesn't work exactly the same. The Rx list and the regular list don't work exactly the same um, as the other, like normally, for an Rx string, I have to set title.value equal to something. Whereas I think here I can just set, set it equal to the thing directly. Yeah, so then I'm gonna say search results, which is this one, the one we're gonna be listening to, equals results. And that's the same reason why I can have this function be a void. I'm not actually returning anything. I'm just setting the data inside here equal to something. And I can do the same thing with get movie details. And it's going to take a string ID. I'm going to make it name parameter just because to me it seems like that's how it should be. 
and I'm going to say uh, movie details, details, and then details equals local data interface dot uh, get movie details ID. And I'm not going to change it again, getting the ID right from here. And then details question mark question mark equals remote data interface dot get movie details just like that right and then say movie details and this time I'm pretty sure I do need to say dot value equals details right this is what I was trying to do here um, I'm not hundred percent sure but I'm pretty sure that just with Rx lists we don't have to specify dot value right you can see it has that cross through it and if we read this it says values deprecated and shouldn't be used uh, use your list or assign all new list. Okay, I didn't know that. So let's try that. Assign all and then results like that. Good thing we actually read that tooltip, uh, but usually we would just do dot value instead. Okay, so there you go. It's super simple stuff. This is how we can decide to use our local data interface and our remote data, remote data interface. And perhaps more importantly, by doing it this way, this shows how we don't need to have the local data interface or the local data store and the remote data store actually filled out for us to be able to use the to use the classes and to actually write this code. So as a result, we don't need to depend on the exact implementation. If we decide to make this thing in Hive or SQF Lite, it doesn't matter, right? It just does not matter because this thing, my GetX controller, my state is not changing. It doesn't matter. Like if I have a different team that's working on this thing, if I have some whatever, if I decide five months down the road, I want to change what local data store I'm using, it does not matter because I'm using this interface. That's all fine. You know, six months down down the road, uh, the guys from OMDB might decide they want to charge money, so I don't want to use this API anymore. Well, then what am I going to do? Am I going to go go ahead and just rewrite my entire remote data data thing? And am I going to have to update my Gettys controller and everywhere else where I was using that? that? I don't need to. Because I use my interface, I'm just using these prototypes, right? It doesn't matter about the exact implementation, and that makes my code so much cleaner and easier to use. Okay, gentlemen, so this was really simple stuff. But be sure to join us in the next video where we'll actually start filling out the local data store and the remote data store. We're going to start with the remote data store. So be sure to join us for that. In the meantime, myself, Avidius, and before I actually head off, let me just fix the imports. Okay. Now, now that that's done, myself and videos, I'm going to head out. Take care, guys.